I'm just gonna jump straight to it and say that today's recipe for scalloped potatoes is incredibly rich and indulgent, but oh my gosh, is it amazing. And there is no doubt that your family and friends will be coming back for seconds on this one. When it comes to holidays and special dinners, a side of potatoes is often on the menu, and I have plenty of options to choose from over on the website, from creamy mashed potatoes to garlicky roasted potatoes and seasoned sweet potatoes. But if you want the absolute best cheesy scallop potatoes that's a mix of dinner party elegance meets comfort food vibes, then this recipe has your name all over it. It's creamy, flavorful, with a four cheese blend, and melt in your mouth delicious. I think you guys are gonna love this one, so let me show you how to make it. To get started, preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, and then get all of your ingredients out. As I mentioned in the intro, this is a four cheese scallop potatoes recipe that has a beautiful layered depth of flavor. So yes, I think it's worth grabbing all of these cheeses, but I'll also provide some substitutions on the blog post. The first cheese is mozzarella, and this is of course well known for being the perfect melty cheese. It's soft and mild flavored, and I always recommend grating it yourself rather than buying those pre-grated packets. So grate about a third cup of this and add it to a small mixing bowl. The second cheese is Asiago, and this has a more intense, somewhat nutty flavor. Although the flavor is really dependent on the age of the cheese because the longer that it's aged, the more firm, dry, and sharp it will be. Grate a third cup of this cheese and add it to the bowl. The third cheese is Gruyere, and it's a creamy, semi-soft, smooth, melting cheese that has a slightly salty and nutty flavor. And again, you'll want one third cup of this cheese as well. Once you've got those first three cheeses, give them a quick mix together with your hands and then set that aside. The fourth and final cheese is fresh Parmigiano Reggiano and it's a hard cheese with a more sharp flavor. You'll need a quarter cup of this and we'll use it for sprinkling on top of our potatoes. Now to make this the best scallop potatoes recipe, we need some savory goodness to meld together with the potatoes, cheese, and cream. So grab a large shallot, peel it, separate the cloves, and finely dice it. I love shallot as it's somewhat of a cross between an onion and garlic, and it's perfect in this recipe. So once you've got that all diced up, add it to a small bowl. Next, you'll need about one teaspoon of fresh thyme. So remove the leaves from a few sprigs and finely chop that up. Add one teaspoon of salt to this bowl and a half a teaspoon of pepper, and then just use your hands or a spoon to mix it together. All right, let's chat about our potatoes. In this recipe, I'm using russet potatoes, and you'll need about two pounds, which, depending on the size of your potatoes, is usually two to three potatoes. Russet potatoes are preferred in this recipe as they're more starchy and will absorb the cream. Many scalloped potato recipes use a roux as the cream base, which is a mixture of butter and flour, but to keep this recipe gluten-free, we're skipping the roux, and to be honest, it's not needed if you do two things, and that's that you use russet potatoes and that you use heavy cream. Waxier potatoes just won't absorb the cream as well, so really do stick with russet potatoes in this recipe. After you've washed and peeled the potatoes, slice them about 1 8 of an inch in thickness. The fastest and easiest way to do this is with a mandolin, and I always wear my cut-resistant glove when using a mandolin because these things are crazy sharp. But the mandolin makes easy work of this, and in about one minute, you can slice up all of your potatoes. So now that all of our ingredients are ready, let's assemble this, and we're going to start on the stove top rather than the oven. And here's why that's important. Most scallop potato recipes take about an hour to bake, but because we're starting on the stove, this scallop potatoes recipe only takes about 25 minutes. So add a tablespoon of butter to an oven-safe saute pan, and this is a 10-inch pan. Once the butter is nice and melted, add half of your potato slices across the bottom of the pan. And you don't have to worry about layering them a certain way, just get them in the pan. Then add a half of the shallot spice mix by just sprinkling it across the top, and add half of the three cheese blend. Then layer the other half of potato slices on top. Add 
Add the remaining shallot spice mix and two cups of heavy cream, and you do want heavy cream because if you use milk or half and half, you might end up with a more watery, separated cream at the end because remember, there is no flour in this recipe. Add a quarter teaspoon of grated nutmeg for a little warmth, and then let this simmer for five minutes on the stove. Dot the top with one tablespoon of cubed butter pieces, then the remaining three cheese mix, and finally the Parmigiano Reggiano. Then transfer that to the oven and bake for 25 to 30 minutes. When it's done, it will be golden and bubbling on top. Smell amazing, and the cream will have absorbed into the potato. I promise that once you make scalloped potatoes this way, you'll never do them any other because they are irresistibly delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Share it with your family and friends, and I will see you again in the next video.